Hey everyone, hope you're all doing really, really well. Um, got another action figure review to, to, for you today. It's been a couple of weeks since I've done one, but uh, I've just picked, uh, just got this guy today in the mail. It is the Toys R Us exclusive Clone Commander Gree. Um, a buddy from Interstate picked this up for me. Um, so if you're watching, thank you very much. So I was very excited to get this one. I wasn't expecting it. Um, I know at least two out of the three Toys R Us's here in SA have already sold out. Um, and I did. I haven't checked the third one. I need to go and check that one on the weekend for um, for Red Leader One. I told him I'd stay on the hunt. He's he's a couple of hours north of the city, so it's kind of hard for him to drop into Toys R Us's. Um, it's only when he's sort of down in the city that he gets to check them out. So I said I'd keep my eyes open for him. So. Yeah, I'll definitely be doing that for him and hopefully I can track one of these down. Um, unfortunately, Toys R Us here in Australia have bumped these up to $49.95. So, um, I guess in a way it stops the scalpers and at the same time it doesn't because they're just going to go... They're already on eBay for like $80. So, you know, it doesn't really stop them. People still want to buy them and try and make as much profit as them as they, out of them as they can, which is really disappointing. But... I got one, um, I'm gonna have to send my buddy back some stuff um, just to say thank you. Um, I've cut the tape on the bottom, so I'm gonna open this guy up on camera. Let's get a first hand look. All right, so there's a couple of blasters that we've seen before. And I'm just gonna edit it right here so I can go turn on the light. I'll just turn the light on. All right, so first up we get this blaster here. Now I can't remember the names of these damn things over the years. I've talked about them so many times. Um, I want to say it's like DC 15 or something. I can't remember. So it's just a just a standard grey. Um, I'll probably swap it out for one of the ones that are painted. I know I've got plenty of spares. Um, like painted up ones. So there's a little bit slack that they didn't give these the paint jobs, but and then we get this one. The longer longer rifle which we've seen with a few clones over the years so again nicely sculpted but again a little bit slack on the paintwork we've painted some they've painted they haven't painted others so i don't know you gotta keep to that standard i think but what can you do he does come with his binoculars what do they call them yeah so it's been painted up So it's pretty cool. Now let's get the Gree out of the bubble. All right. Now I'm really impressed with this um, Clone Trooper sculpt. It's one of the best they've done, in my opinion. But this one, just this one's fantastic. The paintwork on this one is just absolutely fantastic. I'm just having a quick glance over it. And. Uh, I'll hold it up to the camera so you all, you, all of you guys can have a look. Um, I've only got two of the Phase 2s at the moment. I've got Cody and I've got just the standard white one. I still need to get that Entertainment Earth 4-pack. Um, that's all I need for the rest of my collection. I'm pretty much up to date. And then hopefully I can snag the San Diego Comic Con exclusive soon. But here he is. Try and get that to focus. There we go. Man, look at that paint on the visor. That looks so sick. Try and get up even closer. It's got a nice sheen to it. I really, really, really like that. The paintwork throughout this figure is really, really nice as well. It's the silver weathering. I mean, for a lower priced, oh, I say that, I say that lightly. For a lower priced action figure in comparison to sort of Hot Toys or Sideshow or the Japanese imports like um, Fig Arts and uh, Mafex and stuff like that. This is this is pretty damn good. I'm really, really impressed with this guy. Just um, for the few seconds I've had a good look at it. Just the helmet's really good. I like they've given him the antenna on the back. That sort of extra backpack piece that looks nice. So 
sort of got those extra straps over the front of the armor. So it's a new sculpt, which, you know, would have been easy to paint up an old one and try and get away with it, but they've uh, they've added some more added some more bits to this, which is really nice to see. So again, like I was saying, this is a Toys R Us exclusive. They're just sort of hitting now, I believe, at least in the USA and here in Australia. So you can definitely go and check out your Toys R Us's. You might be lucky. Um, there's a big the big push for the scalping, especially down here in Australia. There's a few online communities that that do that do there are there's unfortunately there's a couple of people that will go out there and will buy them all up and then flog them off for more on eBay. But they're also a great bunch of people that will will buy extras and you know announce to everyone that they've got extras and they'll give them to them at cost, which is really not good. There's a good group that of uh, people that really help each other out here in Australia. So. So I like this um, extra bit here on the leg and the extra strap going around there. That's an extra bit of work they've put into that into that part of the figure. Just the colouring looks so good. See the greens and browns on his backside there. <laughs> I just really like that. I just really like that metallic finish on his visor. It looks really nice. Hope it shows up on camera okay. You can sort of see a little bit of a glisten there. Just the silver highlights from the scuffing of the armor. It looks really good as well. It looks really good. I'm really, really impressed with this guy. Um, it's nowhere to sort of hold the binoculars at all, so that's okay. I'll, I'll probably have, I'll display him with them like. Um, like I have my three and three quarter inch version, so. So I'll just put a blaster in his hand and. Commander Gree. I always like this clone. Um, and as far as I know, we're getting that head as well with the, um, when they put out the San Diego Comic Con exclusive, which looks like people have got already um, from preview nights just finished up at our San Diego Comic Con, so people have already got the uh, the Luke and Ray, um, the Thrawn, and the Luke and Land Speeder. So people have already got them, they're already on eBay. So if you want to pay through the nose for them, you can do that right now, because everyone that got on them tonight has just about chucked, thrown them on eBay. But um, yeah, this is a good figure. This is a really nice figure. Um, again, an exclusive, which kind of bums me out a little bit, but because you know we don't get a lot of the exclusives here in Australia so it's kind of hard to keep up with them all um, you know there seems to be as many exclusives as there are in the main line <laughs> but what can you do the market seems to be there for them but um, yeah it seems to have a pretty standard articulation in comparison with the rest of the 6 inch line um, especially all the other clone troopers and stormtroopers and such, double jointed elbows and jointed wrists and all the all those good bits. It's a it's a damn damn fine looking figure. Nice to see the prequel still getting a bit of love. So, got any questions about this one, guys? Drop a comment below and go from there. And uh, in relation to my contest. Um, had a, I did put a video for a contest up a couple of weeks ago. It's been a busy couple of weeks. Um, I've got a new computer which is in front of me so I've been playing around with that and you know I just haven't had time to do the drawing and then I was getting, getting some stupid comments from some pe strange people on, on the video so I decided to can it. Deleted it, I'm going to redo the contest in the next couple of weeks. Um, you know there was, a, there was a few things in the video that did, weren't really clear to everyone so I want to make sure I'm crystal clear next time um, and that everything goes a little bit smoother. You know, I only ended up with like 150 or 200 views, and um, you know, I was hoping for a few more, a few more. Um, you know, contests generally bring in new people, and uh, you know, I was hoping for a few more, a few more, few more additions to the contest to make it a bit more exciting. But um, so I apologise to the people that did enter. We're doing it again, and then shut up, dogs. 
They are annoying dogs. They want to bark while I'm recording. So yeah, I'll be putting another video contest very soon. But until then, may the force be with you guys. I hope you like this video review on Commander Gree. I'm very excited about this figure. It's a nice addition. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Take it easy, guys.